What is up guys, it's James from CopLogic, welcome back to the channel and big news of course is Liverpool have finally signed a defensive midfielder, it is, you probably know by now, Watru Endo of Stuttgart. Now if you tuned into the live yesterday, you'll know already that we've had the here we go, we know it's happening, the medical's booked. But before I get into all that, I just want to say anyone that did tune into the live yesterday, big shout out to you guys and big thank you as well for all the support. It doesn't go unnoticed, we do see you guys and we've got big things planned for the future, giveaways and things like that, so we are, we do recognise the people showing all the support early on it's not going unnoticed and on that point make sure to get involved yourselves if you're not already hit that subscribe button the live last night was pretty impromptu thing we're gonna definitely be doing more of them we should have both of us on in the future but that one was like a spare of the moment thing because nobody saw this signing coming which is how liverpool work best all their best signings have been done absolutely out of nowhere blindside than everyone so that's a good sign already let's get into it as you guys know watru endo has been signed he's on his way to liverpool now to do the medical today if it hasn't been announced already today then it's probably likely to be tomorrow on friday we get that announcement but i know a lot of people are a little bit concerned about this signing especially due to his age he's 30 years old so what we're going to do in this video is i'm going to put you guys as mine at ease and we're going to take a look at the player and discuss why this is a good signing for Liverpool Football Club. So as you probably know, Fabrizio Romano tweeted last night that Liverpool have submitted a formal bid to sign the Japanese midfielder Watru Endo on a permanent deal. The player wants the move as it's the biggest opportunity of his career and he went on to say that medical tests are booked for today and it is an 18 million euro fee with personal terms agreed. Now straight off the bat let's discuss his age. I know people are concerned about the fact that he's 30 years of age but what I would say is I do not believe for a second that this is going to be the final signing hopefully of this window i think we'll probably bring someone in but even if not this window i think in january we definitely go back into the market potentially for andre however i don't think that's going to be the case i can see another signing coming in in this window but what i'm getting at here is i think what through endo is the experience signing there's going to be someone else coming in we've got stefan bachetic already if we had to last till january i think we could do it between the two of them and potentially McAllister, curtis jones rotation as well but i think another signing is on the way there are links already to both soft and Amrabat and Cheikh Decore with Fabrizio Romano confirming interest in Amrabat with strong links to Decore via Dom Smith and Ed Ahrens. Amrabat being 26 years old, Decore being 23 years old with Premier League experience is my preferred choice. I would love to see Decore in through the door and I think between Decore, Bichetic and Endo that would sort our DM issues and we could start looking elsewhere. But this video is specifically about Endo so we're going to discuss why this is a good signing for Liverpool. So to start off with I've seen people saying that this feels like a little bit of a panic buy probably because of his age and also because of the fact that no one's heard of him, right? But I genuinely don't think that's the case. If we take a step back and look at what Jurgen Klopp was saying last month, and this is before the whole Caicedo debacle, and back last month when we had strong links to Lavia, so we were looking for specifically a young defensive midfielder at the time, Jurgen Klopp said, James Milner always came on and finished the game off. We have to have players for that role. Now, in my opinion, that's Endo. I don't think selling Jordan Henderson was ideal and I certainly don't think it was expected I think that kind of blindsided him honestly and then losing Fabinho on top of that has put us in a situation where we don't really have any experienced heads in that midfield Jurgen Klopp wanted an experienced player in there someone with a level head that can control and calm the game down now it's worth mentioning Endo is the Japanese national team captain so again it's another natural leader in the club which is huge but more importantly it's a natural leader in that midfield which we desperately desperately need so yeah I think that's going to be his role at the club I can see him being that guy that comes on 70 minutes Jurgen Klopp used to always throw James Miller on at 70 minutes to close a game I think that's what he's going to do he's a very very versatile player he can play as a center back as well and as a right back very similar profile to James Milner and I think we have essentially signed the Japanese James Milner I think if everyone's being honest with themselves there were definitely games last season where you were looking at it and you were thinking please just put Jordan Henderson on we need we need someone to come on and control calm this game down control that midfield because things are getting a little bit wayward I think losing Jordan Henderson has meant Jurgen Klopp has had to go out and find someone who will be able to do that we don't know how long it's going to take us to bring in someone like Decore we don't know how many games Endo could could potentially start this season so it's definitely worth looking at his stats to see what kind of player we've actually brought in here and i'll tell you right now off the bat his stats look really really good we could have unearthed a genuine little hidden gem here yes he's he's 30 years old but i don't believe it's our final signing and i do believe this is going to be a good signing for him i'm going to throw some stats up now on screen this is a direct comparison between fabinho and endo and straight off the bat look at all that green like for example goals shot accuracy assists chances created duels contested fouls conceded ground duel success clearances are all better 
down Fabinho. Now, of course, there's caveats there. He's playing in the Bundesliga, not the Premier League. So it is unfair to do a direct comparison, but I think they're definitely worth looking at. And feel free to pause the video if you want to go through that in your own time and give it a proper look at. But let's move on to some very, very interesting stats from the Bundesliga last season. So I pulled out some stats that I think are worth mentioning. Endo recorded the most possession won in the final third, most aerial duels won, most clearances, most headed clearances, the second most touches, the second most passes completed, and the second most tackles. Now we are talking about the Bundesliga here. It's one of the top leagues in Europe. Based on them stats, if you were to say, oh, Liverpool are desperate for a defensive midfielder, let's look at the Bundesliga. Who's like the best DM in the Bundesliga? Based on them stats, you'd have to say he's definitely one of the best central defensive midfielders in the Bundesliga. You can't argue with stuff like most aerial duels won, most clearances, most headed clearances, most passes completed, most possession won in the final third. These stats look genuinely really exciting. And if this is the kind of guy that we will be bringing on to close games, that's the kind of guy that you can back, that you can believe in to come on. I mean, he really genuinely is the, the Japanese James Milner. Chris Williams, a UEFA accredited Bundesliga journalist, said that Endo is an excellent player for Stuttgart, leaves it all on the pitch and is very disciplined. Now, this is common of the Japanese players. We've seen this in a World Cup and stuff like that. He's gonna play for the badge. He's going to be passionate and he's a born leader as well in the midfield. I've already mentioned that. I, honestly, I can't really see any downsides aside from the fact of his age. Stuttgart fans have referred to him as a cult hero and uh, like are absolutely gutted that he's going. I've seen messages from a bunch of fans saying like they reckon we're going to be quietly impressed with him and that like this is going to be one of the sort of underdog signs of the season. But, I mean, let's wait and see. But right now, things genuinely do seem promising. You're looking at them stats. You've seen them yourself now. I think this is a pretty exciting signing, honestly. Dan O'Hagan said he's one of the Bundesliga's most unsung stars, an absolute running monster, an engine like few others, rarely wastes a pass, he's a natural leader and a scorer of important goals. That's also kind of important, score of important goals. I don't know if you guys have watched any compilations as of yet, but if you haven't, definitely pull one up and give it a watch. He looks kind of like he enjoys one of those little Matip style runs, except he actually takes a shot at the end and he gets himself a fair few goals as well. And although he's going to be playing as a defensive midfielder, his creative ability is not something to be ignored either. There were only four players in the Bundesliga last season that created more chances from open play than Endo. Four in the Bundesliga, and one of them was Dominic Soboslai. So we've got two of the top five chance creators from the Bundesliga in Liverpool Football Club. That's going to be huge for a player like Darwin Nunes especially. He relies on those kind of through balls and stuff like that. He also scored two goals from counter press last season in the Bundesliga and three outside of the box goals which also could be hugely important. Something Liverpool have been lacking for a while now is a threat from outside of the box. This is the kind of guy where if he gets hold of the ball outside the box he's not afraid to take a shot and he can get it on target. We've seen that from Fabinho in the past but only a couple of times. This guy did it three times last season in the Bundesliga from outside of the box. So that could be a huge, huge asset, especially if he's coming on to close games or in tight games to calm the midfield down. He could be that Origi type figure where he just gets those pivotal goals that get Liverpool those extra couple of points that could be absolutely critical in a tight season. And speaking of getting critical points in a tight season, here's a little bit of a fun fact for you. Every single league title Jurgen Klopp has won has included a Japanese player in his squad. So both titles he won at Dortmund, he obviously had Shinji. Kagawa. And when he won the league with Liverpool, of course, we had Takumi Minamino. So you know what that means. The signing of Wataru Endo is a message from the gods, boys. We're going to win the league. You heard it here first. But hopefully that has helped put some people's minds at ease. As I said, I do genuinely believe there's going to be another signing. Right now, things seem to really be heating up around the core, so I would definitely keep an eye on that one. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe because we really appreciate the support and it doesn't go unnoticed. And here's one reason to subscribe. In October, we are actually traveling to Japan and if all goes to plan we're going to be meeting up with the Liverpool supporters group in Ebisu Tokyo so we're going to be talking with them hopefully do a couple of interviews and get the Japanese opinion on Wataru Endo as well as a look at what life is like being a Liverpool supporter in Japan so if that's not a good reason to subscribe I don't know what is get your notifications on as well so we can keep you guys up to date with everything going on in this transfer window especially around the potential Sofyan Amrabat shake the core stuff and as always if you did enjoy the video give it a like and we'll see you guys in the next video shout out to all the guys that joined the live last night. Peace.